I'm 68 and I have been healthy all of my life. And something was happening to me about three years ago. And we really didn't know what was going on. And we discovered I have lupus. What we didn't know is that during that three years while we were trying to figure out what was going on, lupus was having a run at my kidneys. And I effectively went from functioning on 100% of my kidneys to functioning on 40% of my kidneys. They come back and say, Mr. Johnson, we can tell you what lupus has done to your kidneys. You're down to 40% of your kidneys. And we got to do something here or you're going to end up on dialysis or you're going to end up looking for a kidney transplant. But I do know that spending five days in this building with the doctors and the nurses and the students and in some point I want to talk about these kids. In this building we hand this machine over to these young brilliant brains and these young people and all they want to do is gather around Phil's bed and do everything they can to make Phil better and I was so blown away by these young kids who are intelligent and who have all this knowledge and who want to apply what they've learned and say, Phil, we think we can help you. <sighs> when I left KGH and went back to work, I was suddenly aware of what this place is. I've now been on the inside. I've now experienced life as a patient receiving this level of care. I didn't know it at the time, but I wanted to do something more. I don't think it's changed me, but I think it's been an incredible window on the, the people who call Kelowna home. It can be a mother and daughter whose father, husband, is fighting cancer upstairs somewhere, and the two of them desperately need a coffee. And time to go talk. It's a little old lady in a wheelchair with nobody around her. And I wonder, where's her family? Why is this little old lady, somebody's mom, somebody's grandma, somebody's wife, somebody's mother, why is this lady alone in a wheelchair by herself? Where's her family? And then I'll watch somebody who's a volunteer in a red coat come up and say, can I help you? I don't know why this is so emotional, but it is. And all of us who work in the parking lot see birth, death, sadness, joy. You see all of the things that happen to people's lives in this city standing in front of us, looking desperately for a couple of moments over a cup of coffee. So it isn't that it's changed me. But by God, <laughs> has it given me perspective.